My name is Eugene Marshall, Epsilon Omicron Chapter Pole Mark. I got initiated fall 16, currently attending Northern Illinois University. Uh, my name is Miles Dawson Jr. I pledged at Western Illinois University, Zeta Mu Chapter, Kappa Alpha Psi, uh, 1985. What do I love most about being in the program? I love the camaraderie of the fraternity, the brotherhood that I've established with different, different individuals that I've pledged with. Uh, 30 years in the bond has brought me a lot of friends. These brothers have been, man, they've been in my whole world. They've been there when my child was born, they've been in my wedding, uh, through the ups and downs of my life, they've been there, and that's been one of the greatest things that I've gained from the bond. Now that I'm a member of this great fraternity, I really feel blessed. One of my mentors shared with me to lean not to my own understanding, but trust in God and He will direct your path. And I believe that God has directed me into Cap Alpha Psi. What I love the most about being a brother of Cap Alpha Psi is having the ability to serve Kappa, two, having the ability to not only impact my community, but others, three, just having the ability to fellowship with the brothers. It was a situation where I didn't have money to get back to school at one point. And when I came to my shift and told them where I was at with it, I was like, man, I'm probably going to end up going home. I don't have the money to get back to school. These brothers took up a collection for me and was raised that money for me to get back in school. And that just showed me the love that these brothers had for me and what this fraternity meant to me. You know, and, and it was just one of the greatest experiences I've experienced being in this fraternity. What I've learned this far, being initiated into Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity, is to trust the process, trust the brothers that are around me, and to always look to learn. Never stop learning and never stop achieving. What I expect to gain from Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated is leadership training, um, fellowship with other brothers, and just being in a brotherhood that only wants to foster its growth. Uh, what are some advice that I would give to the undergrad? To understand that you're a student first. Uh, your parents didn't send you to school to pledge a fraternity. They sent you to a school to graduate. And we have to make these young men understand that you're as a student first, fraternity is second, but you can make them work together. And if we emphasize that enough, then they will understand that. A lot of times we come down to college and a lot of, of us don't understand what a fraternity is. We just see it and we like something about it and we get attracted to it. But we need to bring the uh, what are we, five objectives of Kappa Alpha Psi to the forefront and let these young men know that education is the key point for you and that's where you need to be. We have a lot of young men coming into the fraternity that don't understand that and we lose a lot of them and we don't want to continue to do that. Fraternity has been good for a whole lot, but we do have some people who have fell through the cracks that we need to help. What I learned about myself since being a member in Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated is to really plan and prioritize my work. Um, it's so easy to get sidetracked by so many distractions going on on campus, women, you know, um, parties and stuff like that. When we really have a mission to fulfill, and that mission is to graduate and try my best to serve capital. Um, I would say that understand that school is first. That's what your parents sent you here for, not to join a fraternity. You join the fraternity because you've seen or you thought it might be good for you. But understand that school is the first thing that you need to be involved with. If you take care of school, everything else will work out. Uh, as far as the fraternity, we're in the greatest fraternity in the world. We're 106 years and, and can continue to grow. And brothers have to understand that we need to mentor our young men to grow this fraternity, to help our communities, and to help our people continue to grow. If we continue to do that, we will continue to be the greatest fraternity in the world.